Hey guys, um, this is a little impromptu how-to. I wore um, this cute little rainbow outfit to work today that I kind of, you know, I cut up the shirt this morning and then yarn bombed my jeans and everyone loved them. So I thought I would take some time and do a little how-to. It's super quick. It'll only be a few minutes and then you can do yours and wear them with pride. No pun intended. Um, what you'll need is a tapestry needle or some sort of thick needle. Actually, you don't. You could use a bobby pin or a paper clip for this particular thing. And then scraps of yarn, whatever, all the same color. I did rainbow, so that's what I'm using. And this is so simple, you won't even believe. You just need a pair of jeans that are already shredded and you're good to go. Okay, hopefully you can see. So this is what I did today. It's on both sides. Can't hardly see this one. Um, it's much easier to do them on. That's why I'm in this weird position. Normally I would just have you up on the work table, but it's easier to do it when they're on because it stretches the threads tight. Um, so this is the super easy one. This is this is if you have a pair that are already shredded, then you don't need like a denim needle or a leather needle to be able to actually pierce the denim and it hurts your hands and all that. And also a good thing about this one is you can pull the yarn out if you want to change colors or not. And you can knot the end, you can braid the end, you could add pom poms, all kinds of things. It is truly limitless what you can do. Okay, I think you can see. Let's work on this little spot right here. So, I'll do the colors in the opposite way. So let's start with purple. I'll thread my needle up. And I use um, long pieces just because they're easier to work with while you're doing it and then you can just trim them after. Okay, so what you're going to do is Weave in and out through small groups. It's nothing precise, so don't get hung up on this part. Come up through some, and then go down through some, up, down, up, down, okay? And then pull your yarn about halfway through till you get one, oh, wrong tail, till you get one tail out. Got it, you see? Oh, that's, hold on. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get, I'm afraid. I hope you can see. Um, okay, so for the next swipe back down, you're going to do the opposite of the groups that you did. The threads that you came up over, this time you're going under, and the ones you went under, this time you're going over. And come out the bottom. And you can see how it's giving you that little woven look. And you can stop here if you want. I'm going to go three passes. That's what I did with mine. So that way I have one tail that's up and one tail that's down. Oh, wait. Messing up, messing up. There we go. Okay. There's the purple. You see, I got one tail that's up and one is. You could also just do a solid color across the whole patch of threads or um, like if you have variegated yarn that would also be really pretty let's see let's do I'm not so sure do blue and you could also use embroidery floss for this it's just gonna take a lot more to give you the thickness that this is but you know so again we're doing opposites And then down. I wonder if I held. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna pause it and see if I can get you a little better view just for one swipe. Okay, let's try this handheld mode. 
Okay. Oh, this is weird. Okay, so I'm going over the ones that I went under and vice versa. And now I can't see what I'm doing, so obviously it must be easy. And then you pull up. And see, then I got one over, so it gives you some variance. Is that easy? Okay. And now, what do we have here? So green is next. And this is the last one that I'll do. Because you get the idea. You can go crazy with it. But it's I'm just doing the same things over and over. And there's no need for you to be bored and watch me when you could go get started on yours. Okay, so down. Down. There it is. I love it. I think it's so cool. And then, I mean, I've got several pairs of these shredded jeans. They're just torrid jeans. Um, so I could do different colors on different jeans. But you can totally, like once you're finished wearing your rainbow outfit or whatever, just get your needle and take it right back out it'll take you you know a few minutes to get it out but you can pull it right back out and get you another color for another day or go back to wearing them plain or whatever just pull it right out see how easy it's magic it's not magic but you know what I mean okay that's it I hope you Grab a pair of jeans and do yours right now. I think this is so great. It's so colorful for the summer and it makes me happy, especially if you have like crocheted things that you want to wear, knitted things that you want to wear. It goes great with that or any, um, any Frida shirts, you know, I'm mad about Frida shirts, any of those would be awesome. So that's it. This is weird with the phone turned sideways. I don't know where to look. I think it's there, but I always want to look there. I'll look here. Hope you have a great night. Bye.